In many semi-arid areas, the root cause of land degradation is the loss of vegetation. This leaves the land bare and vulnerable. It's a common misconception to think there's no rainfall in dry areas. It doesn't rain often, but when it does, the rain is so intense that it flushes away the fertile soil and causes downstream flooding. And because the soil is bare, it is impossible for the rain to infiltrate into the earth. Most of the water flows away unutilized, and the area remains dry and hot. Vegetation hardly emerges, and the hot, dry air no longer triggers rainfall. The solution is simple. Bring water underground by retaining the rainwater and allowing it to seep down into the soil. The water allows seeds still present in the soil to sprout, and the natural vegetation quickly returns. This effect is strengthened by reforestation and grazing management. The resulting vegetation cools the area and increases moisture in the air through evapotranspiration. When the intervention is large enough, this triggers clouds to release rain where they wouldn't have otherwise. Due to this increase in light rains, the surrounding areas also become greener and cooler, which in turn creates more rain and vegetation. The water cycle is restored and Mother Nature is kick-started. This method is chosen in multiple scientifically chosen locations. Together, these locations impact the regional climate. And in doing so, create a so-called hydrologic corridor. The network of interventions on the ground results in atmospheric cooling and more evenly distributed rain on a large scale. This way, we can mitigate global warming and help to revive the planet. All great things have small beginnings. We know where to begin. Just dig it.